Yeah, it's too easy. Hey, Will, it's Tom Mason. How are you going? Good, mate. How are you? Not too bad. Um, it's been a long time, Will, since you've been in the Wallabies um, squad. How are you feeling and um, did you think you would ever be back in this environment? Um, mate, it's good. It's good to see the boys again. Um, international environments, uh, it's something very special, so I'm happy to be back. Uh, and I don't know, probably not. Not until they change the rule, but no, it's been nice uh, to be back involved and, and to mingle with the boys. There's clearly been a number of attempts to get you back, Will, in various forms. The World Cup, obviously, there's been offers to come back. How close have you been? And have you been sort of torn, unfinished business at Tesla? Like, how do you view that? Um, sort of how that's panned out? Um, no, not really. It is what it is. We can't really. There was stuff I couldn't control, so. Um, I've loved my rugby over here in Europe um, and to uh, be able to add value here with the squad, it's, um, it's something I'm excited about. Will, firstly, uh, welcome back um, into this Wellby setup. Since we last saw you at Super Rugby, I believe it was 2017, how do you think you've sort of developed your game as a player and at what value can you add to this squad? I don't know, a bit more experience. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, just, I guess just playing playing week in, week out against the Norman, Northern Hemisphere boys, It's um, you take a bit from them. I played a lot with the England boys. Um, you see what their standards are like, um, how they operate, um, I guess things like that. So coming into the squad, I, know it's, I believe you guys only joined Alessandro on Monday. What's been your first impression of the likes of Nella and the other new guys that you wouldn't have sort of experienced or <laughs> maybe played against at the Super Rugby level? Oh, I met Nella in 2016, my last spring tour. So um, there's a few guys I hadn't met, but uh, oh no, very welcoming. Um, you can see the camaraderie in the group. Um, everyone, everyone cares about each other. Um, there's a bit of banter on the first day too, which is nice. Um, and the Aussie accent, I, I don't know if I've missed that. <laughs> Nella's Aussie accent. No way. <laughs> <laughs> um, Will, I'll just jump in here. What, what have you missed most about playing for the Wallabies? Um, I think just playing with your... Uh, playing with the boys I grew up with. So like, I play a lot of club rugby with the guys like Hoops. Um, and most of them have left now, but I remember guys like Kips as well. Like you build relationships with them, with them at the start of your career, and then to be able to play with them uh, for your country is, um, you know, it's the ultimate. Um, it's something very special and something you never take for granted. So uh, to be involved with the group again, it's um, you know, it's something that I didn't think was coming, but uh, just yeah, grateful to be here. Can you just give us a bit of an insight about, um, I'm sure, like as Tom alluded to in his one of his first questions, when did um, when when did you think like numerous coaches have tried to bring you back to the Wallabies, but when did you go, oh, this might actually be a possibility, and, and when did you think that even this year that that might actually come to fruition? Um, I spoke to I think I spoke to Scotty Johnson last season or last year with the I think it was. The, what was that tournament last year? The rugby champ, but it was like a, it was a big, yeah, a shorter version of it. And it was a, a, a massive bubble that they did for like 12 weeks. Um, and he asked me to come then uh, and it, it didn't work out. My wife was pregnant um, and I, I didn't want to really leave her. So I thought the doors closed and then Renz um, gave me a phone call. That's probably the middle of the year and just said, if you'd like to be involved or we'll be looking at you. So. Uh, he just said, "Keep playing good footy, and you might uh, you might be involved with the team." So uh, I just put my head down, and yeah, just I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> I made it now. <laughs> head down, us. Oh, <laughs> um, and we'll like, usually Tony Ella's the headline act, but was it was it there? An easy decision to go, yeah, I, come, I really want to play again? Um, yeah, no, for sure. It's, you, see how, you see how well the, the boys have been going and um, 
looking from afar, you know, a, a, the, a lot of the boys coming in would say it like you you want to be involved, you want to see what's uh, what's happening with the group, uh, new coach, uh, new staff, um, new boys coming through. So no, it's uh, like I said, it's exciting and um, it's been a lot of fun since I've been here the last two days. Daniela, from your perspective, what's it like when you've got a guy like Will Skelton and Rory Arnold as well that go, we want to play for the Wallabies again, we're available? Um, it probably helps from a scrum, scrum perspective as well. No, yeah. Um, we were just talking about it yesterday because um, I've never really played with um, Will. Um, just imagine having him behind me or Ellen or any of the titles, you know, you just don't have, as a prop, that's a dream, you know, you don't have to do much, uh, you just be in a good shape and uh, we'll, do, we'll do the rest, so yeah, looking forward to it. Well, obviously coming to Wallabies camp, there's a lot of detail you've got to be around. Do you think the Scotland match this weekend is, is too soon possibly, and maybe eyeing off England? You know, I know there's a few guys coming and they've got a lot to learn in a short period of time. Um, oh, we went through a bit of detail last night. Uh, the shape's quite simple. It's um, something that, as a rugby player, you sort of you got to get used to quick. Um, I'm not too sure. I'll see what Renz is thinking, but um, we'll definitely be putting our hand up. I think all the boys who've come in because we're not here to just sit back and and train for the three weeks. We want to try and be involved and, and put our hand up for selection. Um, but yeah, we'll be trying to get a head around it for for Sunday with uh, a seven day turnaround. Did you have uh, much of a look at, sorry? Did you have much of a look at the Scotland Tonga game? And if so, would, would can you take anything from it? Can you learn much from that? M me or Nella? You, you, you. Uh, you, you had a day you. off, Nella. Yeah, Nella. Oh, um, <clears throat> not not really. I was um. I haven't had a look at it. I looked at the score. That's about it. But um, um, I want to realise uh, they go hard at the breakdown, and uh, that's something we need to be um, aware of. And um, but other than that, I haven't really looked into it. Uh, we'll make sure to do some study around them, and now uh, get ready for the weekend. did you make your, you made your debut against Scotland at Murrayfield? Is that right? Back in two thousand seventeen. Yes. Yes. Um, it's funny because um, <clears throat> back here, you know. Um, back in 2017, I um, came yesterday, got my key, went to the room. I was they put me in the same room as I was, same <laughs> level, and um, a few years ago, and and we we're playing on Sunday. I remember um, my debut was on Sunday too. It's, um yeah, it's just funny how I think you know um, work and no, it's good to be back here, and uh, looking forward to hopefully playing again um, this uh, this week. You feel a, probably a bit of a score to settle after that. That first, that first game. Did you mixed emotions? Was it? Um. Yes. I. No. I, well, I haven't watched the game since I um played. But um. Yeah. Not a. You know, not the the best game. You know. Hopefully. Um. I uh, will change that around this weekend. Yeah, thanks. Daniela. Um. Matt Taylor was previously at Scotland. Um. Obviously. Uh. Scott Johnson was previously the director of rugby, and and Dave Rennie was at Glasgow. Have any of the, the three of them kind of spoken about what it's like to play a, a Scottish side or kind of tried to give a little bit of a, um, insights into who, who, who are the weak players to target or, or, or what have they spoken about? Yeah, um, <clears throat> uh, Tati, well, Matt Taylor, you can see you know, from the start of the week, he really want, you know, he really wanted to win this game. You know, I think it means more to him. Um, he's spoken to us about a few of the players that we need to go after and and the thing we need to do to win and um, um, yeah we we know what we we need to do and we just need to get out there and do it this weekend. Nella, coming to Europe, I believe you came here in 2016, also in the 2017. Yet yeah, this is, I believe, only your second game in Europe, both in Scotland. What's the feeling like amongst the group now that you're able to go through a proper European tour with COVID restrictions starting to uh, ease up? Um, uh, to be honest, I, I think I've enjoyed this one a lot better. I think um, 
I'm a little older. And I'm not the, uh, the, you know, the 18 years old kid. You know, just just joined the team. Um, I can be myself around the boys, and you know, I can, um, I can offer something to not just being around here, not knowing if you're gonna play or not. And I don't know it's just a lot different coming this time. You know, um, but again, look, looking forward to it, man. Apologies, guys, we're on a bit of a tight schedule, so just the last couple, please. <laughs> Will, can I just ask a two-part question? Um, you made mention of catching up with um, guys that you might have played with in the past. What was it like seeing guys like Michael Hooper previously, who you would have played a lot alongside? Um, and the second part, when you saw the Wallabies have this success, winning the last five matches, um, was there a bit of like, I really want to get involved in this because you think that the Wallabies are on a bit of an upward curve? Um... Yeah, man, it was good. It was good to see Hoops again. Um, guys like Whitey, I, I made my debut with Whitey. Um, so, yeah, no, obviously very, very cool to see those boys again. I haven't seen them in a few years, so um, you see how well they've been playing. And um, like you said, they're, they're on, a, on a winning streak and you want to come in and, and add value. You don't want to be um, pulling them back. So, um, yeah, you always want to be involved. Guys like Rory and myself, um, Duncan and um, Colby who have joined, uh, we're, we're excited to be here uh, and we're excited to help out with this, with the squad and, and 